guys welcome to my video my name is Kiera and I'm going to give you a couple of tips of how you should operate your Instagram business page the first tip is to make sure that you separate your business account from your personal account a lot of times people like to merge the two I don't know maybe because it's just easier because you already have an account instead of having to set up a whole another one it is super duper important why is because the people who are interested in your personal life not always are interested in your business life and vice versa everybody who's interested in your business your service or product they're not interested in your personal life to a certain extent so make sure you have those separate and make sure you use your business name for your username my next tip is to make sure that you have a good logo or headshot for your profile photo I know a lot of us don't really think about it, but our profile photo is the way that a lot of people identify us when it comes to communicating on social media. So when people DM you, leave a comment, or even see your like in their notifications, they associate whatever you have in your profile photo with you and your business. So just make sure you keep it clean, personal, um, professional, excuse me, but you can be personable with your photo. If it shows the personality of you or your brand, whatever it is that your account represents, you can definitely feel free to do that, but make sure that you're using something that is memorable, clean, and professional. My next tip is to have a informative bio, but keep it short. We don't wanna write any books, but we definitely wanna let people know who we are and where we are. So a couple of things that I think are good to put are your location, your specialty, and your mission statement. Your mission statement is pretty much like a brief description of what your brand represents and what you're all about. Keep it clean, simple, and to the point. You can also add the link to your website. Now, if you're someone like me who has multiple links such as YouTube, my Instagram, TikTok, or um, like listing certain eBooks and templates, you can get a link tree. You can also create your own link tree, but make sure whatever you use, make sure that is professional as well. You wanna make sure that you're representing your business well from the name to the profile photo to the bio and what it is that you post. Speaking of posting, <laughs> my next tip is you want to make sure that you're posting quality photos and videos. It is super important that you post pictures and photos, pictures and photos, pictures and videos that are unfiltered and that are clear. If you're posting stuff with like Snapchat filters on it and say you're a makeup artist, there's no way that I can confidently say that you do a great job because I don't know what the true end result is. Same for a hairstylist. Um, say I'm interested in getting my hair colored. I'm not understanding what it is your process is or what the end result is or what the difference from what it looks like in the beginning because you're putting filters. Make sure that everything is unfiltered and make sure you have clear quality photos and videos. Also, make sure that you play around with your angles. Now, I know everybody's not tech savvy. Everybody's not a videographer or, or a photographer. But play around with your angles. You don't want to always be in front of the camera. You want the camera to actually be pointed towards what it should be focused on. And it's also kind of fun to kind of switch up the little angles. So if you feel like that you have it in you to do a little bit of video editing, one to two angles I think spices things up. And make sure that you keep things short and concise as well. Our attention spans are not that long, but if you play around with a couple of different angles, maybe different lightings as well, we'll see that difference and be like, oh, we want to watch a little longer, you know? My next tip is when you interact with people on Instagram or whatever social media platform that you end up using, do not always lead with trying to make a sale. It's giving by my perfume at the mall. You know, like nobody likes to always be hassled. People like to actually have conversation and build connections with people. And that's what I highly recommend, whether you are a personal brand or you have a business that provides a product or a service. Really just build community. Build, be yourself. You know, um, if someone has a birthday, say happy birthday. If someone has a poll, make sure you participate in that poll or answer their question. Um, when you do that, they'll in turn have more interest in you um, and look more towards your business a little more. So not to say that you can never bring up your business, but don't, you know, go DMing people asking, hey, can you buy this for me? I can't tell you how many times that has happened and I've never bought from them because I was very off-putting. Just make sure that you're not leading with the sale at all times. You can try to make a sale, but I highly, highly encourage you to build connections first. All purchases come from building connections and trust. This next tip um, really is not required, but I do see that people tend to gravitate towards it. So I'm going to bring it up. Making an aesthetic, building an aesthetic for your Instagram 
feed. So I know we've all come across feeds where everything's pink or everything is beige or it's black and white, low exposure, whatever the case may be, that is the aesthetic that they chose to have for their page. Now, some people do follow those accounts strictly for that. Um, they have the aesthetic, they have quality photos and videos, whatever the case may be, they stick to the theme. And really, honestly, that's how they brand their page. So if you do branding correctly, and you make sure that you incorporate it with everything that you do, keeping your audience in mind of what they're interested in, you can easily achieve this. And this is something that will make them a little more interested in even following you or booking you. And lastly, show yourself. I can't stress how important it is that you show yourself to your followers. Um, you don't have to speak necessarily, at least not all of the time. A good intro video is great, but we live in a time where we don't really know who is the face behind the brand. We just see the product or the service being posted, but we don't get to know the actual person. That also helps with building connection with these potential follow with these followers and potential customers because we then can kind of buy into you as a person. Now, honestly, we've all been there before that we buy a product that's the same as some other products, but we bought it over the others, not because it's a better product, which it could be, but we also bought it because of the brand or more importantly, the person who's behind it. We like them as a person, so we bought into their product or service. Just show a little bit of personality. That's it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you can find these tips super helpful. If you want more tips, if you have suggestions for other related videos, definitely go ahead and comment, but also don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.